I'm Terry Talty, and we're at Site Santa Fe to see the biennial, Sightlines 2016. The show is titled, Much Wider Than a Line, a phrase from a book about a Canadian tribe and the relationships people develop because they share territory. The Santa Fe Indian School is a territory governed by Native Americans. In the 60s, the director of the school reached out to an architect from Arizona named Paolo Soleri, a recent immigrant from Italy. From different cultures, they shared a home in the American Southwest and together produced an amphitheater on the campus. The first room of the biennial shows photos and a scale model of the amphitheater that until 2010 was a venue for concerts for all the people of Santa Fe and productions by native students. Now the tribe wants to demolish it and other locals want to preserve it. Sharing requires there to be two entities, you and me. When we share territory, we might think of the entities as us and them. Sharing territory is not always pleasant. You and I and our tribes might have different, conflicting ideas about how to steward the land. One may be better than the other, yet our relationships often determine the answers more than facts do. Art is a type of communication that illustrates ideas. At its best, it illustrates a truth. Art often benefits from shared territory. European art dramatically changed when artists like Gauguin lived in Tahiti, when Picasso studied African art. For this biennial, SITE is trying to rake together a diverse group of artists into their exhibition space, making it territory shared by many ethnicities and nationalities and types of art makers, historians, poets, performance artists, conceptual artists, crafters, musicians, and music teachers. Raven Chacon teaches a summer workshop for Navajo students. They write string quartets. For many of his students, this traditional European form is outside familiar territory. Time is another way that territory is shared, and one curator dedicated the show by naming all the peoples who have lived here throughout time, sharing the land we know as Santa Fe. You can see this shared territory through time within this collection of artwork as well. Performance work made in the 70s relates to a walking piece made recently. Another work, Portraits Taken in Santa Fe This Spring, becomes powerful because of its comparison to studies done at Columbia University in the 1950s on race and class. Walking through this show is sharing territory too, with the curators who drive the ideas and a team of five who selected the work. You can share territory with the artists who are communicating their ideas through the visible works. And you share the territory with everyone else who visits this show. When we go outside to the clear skies of Santa Fe and elsewhere, we can talk about the ideas that rose up through this show. Today, we can share the territory virtually. There are several blogs about contemporary art. I write one called Unsafe Art, where I look for work that has more to say and try to start a conversation. Here's the blog about this show. Come and chat.